Um, it's Tuesday. We found out on Sunday that Michael has COVID. Um, and I was feeling fine all weekend, all Sunday. Monday, yesterday, I was perfectly fine. I cleaned. Um, but today, I woke up with a little, like, dryness in my throat. And I just thought it was from the AC. Sleeping with the AC on because it's so hot. But, um, I've been working at my desk and I see stars and my head is my head is so like <sighs> the pressure in my head like I feel like my head is gonna explode and I'm coughing um, and I feel like I have some mucus in the back of my throat. And because I'm coughing so much, it's causing my voice to be, like, all scratchy and raspy. Um, my goal feels fine. But I don't. I took my temperature and I don't have a fever yet. Um. <coughs> but... On Sunday, on Sunday when when he got, when we went to go get tested, uh, my test results came back negative, but his came back positive. And I thought, okay, it's just because I take a lot of vitamins and um, I've been, you know, taking a lot of vitamin C and zinc and taking care of my body and maybe I just have like a strong immune system right now. I might not get it, but. I'm starting to believe that I have it. And I don't know how long I should wait to go get tested again. Especially since my test is negative. But if I'm not feeling good, I think I'm going to wait another day. Maybe get tested tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe I'll get tested after work. But I... If you hear... You hear my... Michael talking. No. You hear Michael talking out there. Um, Michael's talking to my mom right now, but I don't want to tell my family that I'm having symptoms because I don't want to worry them. It's one thing if Michael has COVID and he's doing great and he's getting better. He didn't really even get. For two days, he was sick really badly, and then after that, he got better, but I just, I don't want to worry my family, so I don't, I'm not going to tell them, I don't think so, so I'm just not telling them that I'm having any symptoms or anything, because I don't want them to freak out, but. My head hurts so bad, you guys. <coughs> and I think it just hurts more from coughing. I'm gonna go. Michael's making me soup. So I'm in training right now at my new job. And we had an exam. Um, we had to do like a test. And... I completely bombed it. My clothes are drying. Um, and I'm on the phone, like, taking calls. And I... My head just... Oh, my head hurts so bad. <clears throat> I'm, like, shaking, too. Like, I can't stop shaking. I have five out of the 11 symptoms I googled on Google for COVID, so I'm so shaky. Oh 
hopefully this next hour at work just goes by like super fast so that way I can just go get my test. So, I couldn't go to work today because I didn't feel good at all. So, we're driving to Manteca, California, urgent care so that way I can get a, a rapid COVID test done. Because um, if I am positive, I have to give it to my job so that way I can let them know that we're just driving right now. Michael's driving because he feels way better than I do. And I woke up this morning with like my head. I felt like it was gonna explode. It hurt so bad. And I have like this, like, like my nose is starting to get stuffy. And I could feel it coming in like the stuffiness in my nose. <clears throat> the cough is pretty much gone, but my nose now is stuffy, so. I don't know. We'll see. I don't even think I checked in with you guys from urgent care, but um, I tested positive. So, I got it. I'm just thinking about all the people that we were around this last weekend. We were around a lot of people. I feel guilty. I'm so sorry. I look so ratchet and run down. Um, my throat was killing me yesterday. Toward the end of the day. <sighs> Having a hard time talking and breathing. And I know that I can't breathe through my nose because when my lips get dry, when I wake up the next morning and I cut my lip, that's how I know I can't, I'm not breathing through my nose. Sucks. I thought I'd get up and try and clean, clean up the house, but I can barely walk to my desk sit down to do the budget for the month. <sighs> I keep having to take a break to breathe. <sighs> Michael seems to be doing pretty good. <sighs> From what I know, anyway, he seems fine. I'm I have the worst headaches when I wake up in the morning. It's like the only way I can describe it is like my head is going to explode. Every morning I wake up and I feel like my head is like going to it's going to explode like it hurts so bad every morning for the past three days. And I try and take like Advil, but that only does so much. I feel sick. I know I'm sick, but the only thing I can think about is cleaning. And I, and I can't even barely like stand up.
and there's not really much else I can say. I think I'm just gonna relax and try and clean tomorrow. <sighs> it's cold. I can't stop shaking. It's freezing. And I can't get warm. And Michael took my temperature. Oh, it's 96 degrees. Every time I set up, I feel dizzy. And now it's just like I'm gonna throw up. <clears throat> I have to lay down. It's Monday. It's so cold. I know it's super dark, but if I have any light on, I get a headache. <laughs> Today's got to be the worst day out of all the days. Super dizzy. I was cold and now I'm hot. <coughs> Michael has to walk me to the bathroom. I can't hold this camera up much longer. I had to come to the ER. I was throwing up, I couldn't hold anything down. I was on oxygen, but they took the oxygen away. So, I was admitted into the hospital last night. Um, I'm in a room, uh, finally, out of that tent. Um, <coughs> I have an annoying cough and my nausea's finally gone. So I'm able to drink fluids and eat finally. Okay, so I didn't, I realized that I didn't get to finish like updating you guys. Um, I'm at home. <clears throat> I was discharged. I got discharged. So, basically, I have COVID pneumonia. COVID pneumonia. And I, um, uh, my heart rate beats like really, really fast when I like get up and stuff my oxygen drops so they sent me home with this big oxygen machine and a couple of oxygen tanks um mainly just for like when i'm like when i'm going to the bathroom and stuff or walking around um and then i get in bed try and calm down get my heart rate you know down and then i can take it off um I'm keeping it on right now though because I'm talking to you guys when I talk it's hard for me to breathe um, but basically um, I had no fluid in my lungs which is good um, however my lungs were swollen um, and just on top of having COVID it was really kicking my butt uh, so I was really nauseous I was vomiting couldn't keep anything down for days couldn't drink not even a sip of water without vomiting it up um I was dry heaving and I was like that for a while I didn't realize how much time actually passed 
while I was here at home in bed, like a whole week went by. And I just, every day was the same. So like I didn't realize, and I was just so out of it and so sick that I, I didn't realize I was here for so long, just in bed, sick. And Michael kept like telling me like, you need to go to the emergency room, you need to go to the emergency room. I don't know why, like, the concept of time and days just, it wasn't, like, snapping in my head. And when <coughs> my family and friends would text me, I forgot words. Like, I forgot how to spell certain words. I forgot, like, things to say, like, I don't know, just, like they there like the different days and theirs and stuff like i don't know like just i noticed little things like that like i i couldn't remember that stuff and i just woke up and i, I couldn't take it anymore i told michael i have to go to the emergency room so he took me to the emergency room and that's where you guys see that footage in the tent um but yeah, they, they only gave me one bag of IV fluid, though. But they did give me a lot of nausea medicine. Uh, they gave me antibiotics. They gave me two bags of antibiotics. And they gave me a shot to help fight the COVID virus. Um, and then, yeah, so they sent me home with oxygen. So I'm home right now. Uh... I'm fine. I'm going to be okay. Um, I'm getting there. I'm getting better. So I'm going to try and edit and upload this. Uh, because I just posted on TikTok. Like an update of where I've been. And everybody's like blowing my phone up. Because I, I, I've been gone for so long on social media. So um, <coughs> I'm going to try and get this up. So all right yeah i just wanted to update you guys i'm doing good i made it i'm home um i'm happy i'm home i'm happy i'm home with my husband i really missed him i did not like spending any time away from him i hate sleeping in separate beds not having him there like was the worst so i'm just happy to be home like that's all I could think about was just I gotta get home like I want to go home I want to go home to my husband I just want to go home yeah I got to tell her no <laughs> I even like I even almost asked to be discharged yesterday because I was like I feel fine you know I feel fine like why am I here but he was like no stay there and they ended up discharging me today so I'm happy I stayed I couldn't get out of there quick enough um but this machine's pretty loud. So that's it for this. I know it's a short one. I didn't want to make it super long. But <coughs> just to update you guys on what, where I'm at. Um, I do have some people I care about. And I love very much that are currently battling COVID too. So if you guys could just keep them in your prayers and me and Michael Michael's doing really well by the way huh honey yeah. he's doing really good I have ups and downs he has yeah he gets like you know I get energy burst energy burst and then you know he crashes but that's COVID so but for the most part though he, he just has that and like a cough but it's not it's very mild so he's he's been I'm so happy that he didn't get as sick as me because I don't I don't know what we would have done if the both of us were dying, but so I'm happy that I'm happy that he didn't get as sick. But man, I would get the nausea part of COVID. Isn't that some bull? That's messed up. <laughs> Any sickness that has nausea involved. Anything, anything that has nausea involved, I get it. I'm always freaking throwing up. My kidney stone, everything. It's some bull. Messed up. Anyway, all right, I'm going to edit this and I'm going to go to bed. So I love you guys to everybody that prayed for us that did. Thank you so much. And 
I just I couldn't thank you guys enough. Thank you to everybody that prayed and offered help. So that's it for this video.